Today I'm sharing the list of monthly tasks that keep our house running smoothly and efficiently. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Nicole from Organized Chaos Blog, and today I'm going to be talking about all of the tasks I like to complete on a monthly basis. These are the tasks that I've personally found over the years don't need to get done every single week, but I do like to make sure to do them once a month to make sure I'm staying on top of things and that the household runs smoothly. The majority of them are household tasks, but a few are also personal things that I like to try to do once a month. I keep this list in the back of my Erin Condren life planner and I check each item off as the months go by to make sure I'm completing them. I got this idea many many years ago from Jen over at Jen's Plans and I love it because it holds me accountable and also I don't have to rely on my memory to remind myself when's the last time I've done some of these chores. So I'm going to quickly walk you through all of the tasks I like to do on a monthly basis. Now I will say I don't do all of these tasks on the same day every single month. Splitting them up really helps because I don't have to dedicate an entire day to getting all of these tasks done. So I'll do a few here and there when I have time throughout the month. As long as it gets checked off, I'm happy with that. You'll also see that a few of the tasks don't get done on a monthly basis even though they probably should, but this is just a guide of what I want to strive to hit every single month, and if it doesn't get done, I just make sure to pick it up the next month. Okay, so the very first thing is giving the dogs their heartworm medicine. This is a necessity. We live in the South where mosquitoes get really bad, so we wanna make sure our dogs get their monthly heartworm tablet. Now, this is one task that I do on the same day every month just because it needs to be regulated, and I do it on the very last day of the month. The next task is to wash and vacuum out my car. This is one that I really wish would get done every single month, because it makes me feel so much better when I have a clean car, but unfortunately, it's also one of the ones that fall to the wayside when we're super busy. So when I do this task, we usually just go through the car wash and then pull to the vacuum center and vacuum it out. I do make sure to clean out my car of all of the clutter and the trash at least once a week. In February, I'm gonna try to make that a daily goal of mine, but as far as washing my car and vacuuming it out, I like to try to do that at least once a month. Okay, the next task that I do religiously on a monthly basis is to budget and pay bills. This is a non-negotiable. If you follow me on Instagram, I am always talking about our budget, and that is because I really, really rely on it. We have been budgeting probably for about six years, and it has made a huge difference in the lifestyle we're able to live and staying on top of our finances. So this is something that gets done every single month without fail. Along with budgeting for the month, I also make sure I plan out our month in my EC Life Planner. The monthly spread is super helpful because everything is in one spot. I typically film this process, so if you want to check out how I plan on a monthly basis, I have a playlist of all my plan with me's that I will link in the description box below. After I fill out my monthly planner, I also fill out our calendar that stays in our kitchen. That way Jason or Alex can always reference that if they want to know what our schedule is for the month or what the meal plan is for the week. The next two tasks on this list are more of personal tasks. The first is to clean my makeup brushes. Unfortunately, this is another one that does not get done as often as it should. I know it's super important, especially for my skin, but this is just something that is so time consuming. And honestly, I am a makeup junkie and have so many extra brushes. I usually end up swapping them out every few weeks and then I'll wait until all of my brushes are dirty and wash them all at once, which takes a lot longer but I only have to do it every few months if I do it that way. The next monthly task is a date night with Jason. It's honestly something I probably need to take off of this list because by this point in our relationship, this is pretty much set in stone. We have a monthly date night every single month without fail. So when I move into my new life planner in June, I probably will take this off of my monthly task list. Okay, the next task is to clean out the fridge and freezer. This is something else that I'm really good at. Every single week is when I clear it out of just the old food and things that have gone bad, but monthly is when I try to actually make sure I wipe up any spills, things are organized, and that I just know everything that is in there and I can find what I'm looking for. I also like to keep a list of the current stock of items we have in our freezer, which makes it very easy when I am meal prepping. So usually once a month, I'll go through and just make sure 
that list is up to date and I've checked off any items that I used up throughout the month or I've updated and added to the list of anything I've added into the freezer. The next task on my monthly to-do list is cleaning out my pantry. I am usually pretty good at this, but as you can see, it hasn't gotten done in the past two months. And if you walk into my pantry, you will be able to tell. It is a disaster currently, so that is something I have got to make sure I do ASAP. I'm thinking about making the pantry my February project for the room in my house that I want to declutter and organize because it really could use a complete overhaul. Okay, the next three items on my monthly task list I'll have to do with digital media. And I'm really good about staying up to date on this because I know if I don't, it's really, really hard and time consuming to catch up. So like most people, I have tons and tons of pictures on my iPhone. When I take pictures of my kids, I don't just take one, I take about 50. I also have tons of screenshots of things I see, either recipes or things that I might want to buy, and it just gets to be a lot. So what I do once a month, usually either the last day of the month or the first day of the next month, I quickly sit down and I flip through my phone and delete any pictures that are no longer necessary. All those screenshots that I no longer have use for or duplicates of pictures, I'll go through and I'll pick maybe the top three and then I'll delete the rest. That way, when I'm looking for something in my phone from several months back, I'm not scrolling through thousands of pictures. So that is step one in my decluttering process. Step two, I then upload them to Shutterfly. This is pretty much an automatic process. You literally go through select all the pictures, and then upload them to an album. I do have a blog post about how I create all my albums in Shutterfly. I have separate folders for each year, and then in each of those folders, I have separate folders for each month. And then if there is a really important or special event, like a birth or a christening or a holiday, I might even make a subfolder for that specific event within the month. That makes it so, so easy when I want to either find pictures to print out or when I make my yearly photo book for our family, I know exactly where the pictures are. I know that you can also back up your pictures on the cloud, and I think I do that, but if I'm being 100% honest, that really confuses me, and I'm not 100% confident of where my pictures are or how they're stored that way, so I just like to also have them in Shutterfly. And then the third step in my digital declutter is to then back up those files from Shutterfly to an external hard drive. Now, the reason I do this is because I know Shutterfly right now is free, but in the back of my mind, I keep thinking I have years and years of photos stored on Shutterfly, but if for some reason one day the site would crash or they would decide to close it down or start charging, I also want to know I have them on my personal hard drive just in case. I have been in the position where I've lost a phone and once my computer even crashed and I lost everything on it and it is heartbreaking losing some of those priceless memories so I like to make sure my photos are safe. If you do this process once a month it takes me less than 15 minutes. It's when you don't stay on top of it that it becomes a really big and daunting task. The next item on this list is something we try to do every few months and it is to change the AC filters. I think the recommendation is every 90 days but depending on the time of year the season how much we're running our AC we kind of just judge it based on what it looks like so even sometimes we'll just vacuum them off and then we can get another month's use out of our AC filters we'll do that but definitely every third month at the least we change out the filters this is a task that Jason always takes care of for me but I do keep it in my planner because it's one of those things that you can't remember when's the last time I changed the filter I'm not sure but if I look in my planner I can even easily see we haven't done it since November so we'll probably do it this month. The final monthly task is to shred and file documents. I have a spot in our office where I keep all of our paperwork and mail that comes in that I don't need to deal with immediately. All the bills go directly into the Family Command Center binder, which holds all of our bill pay stuff, but this is other stuff that I might ha not have a place for immediately or that we might need to keep and file. I don't do this daily or weekly because it would take up too much time, but once a month I sit down with the stack of papers, I go through it. If it's stuff that can be trash, I throw it away. If it's stuff that needs to be shredded, I shred it. And if it's stuff that needs to be put in either our short-term or our long-term filing system, I will do that as well. 
If you would like me to make a video on how I keep our files organized, I would be happy to do that. Just let me know in the comments below. Alright guys, so these are all the tasks that I try to complete on a monthly basis to keep our house running smoothly and efficiently. I also have things that I do on a weekly basis as well as a quarterly basis and a yearly basis. So if you would like me to make another video sharing some of those ideas, make sure you just let me know. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.